much of it your thoughts on? I mean, is it really in this squad um, over the week? There is no single local player in this squad. What are your thoughts on that? I think that it goes with uh, consistency and then and, uh, and uh, the closeness of games and 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 it's it's, it's very important not to over overstate that he re he releases his uh, squad and then no 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 local player in it. I think that uh, when we start doing that, then we are preempting on 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 the negativity. But I think that we are paying much attention to the local league. And you can see me coming out to watch a lot of the games. And then you look at this, the team. The team is made of, of a consistent squad, if, you, if what you are saying is what it is. So we want to remain with a, a lot of consistency in, in, in what is happening. Okay. I mean, on, on the back of Ghana's performance, uh, the chant in Algeria, a lot of people would have called for a bit, uh, I mean, some bit of one or two players I don't. I wouldn't know what you are talking about because you are talking about uh, uh, something that has to do with a team, and 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 the Blasters is a team that stands, you know, uh, in in progress, and and so um, uh, the team will continuously be very consistent in 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 the approach. The the team is a work in progress, and so. Uh, what you find now is actually what is needed at the at, at the at the at the shortest possible time, and in the longest possible time. In this era, you need to look at for things that will give you immediate, you know, immediate uh, team structure, and you don't have time. You, you the team is is playing on when uh, uh, on Thursday and playing on Monday, so there's no time for you to be thinking about, you know, processes where where you need players to to have the chance to have strong integration and then adaptation this is not a time to be thinking about this is the time to be thinking about who to bring and then immediately you will be able to get what you need it's not a, there's no time in this period these periods are very short-lived and so we need to acknowledge you know the 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 importance of of, of the timelines Speaking highly of his job done at um, in the English Premier League, the likes of Tottenham, Brighton, and Hove Albion. What, what would be, or what would you say about him? Because you get to work there, especially with his identity, his system, or his philosophy. What do you think he can bring to Ghana? Uh, no matter what I talk about his philosophy, it has nothing to do with with uh, people's thoughts. What I will talk about Chris is that he's a unifier. He brings people together, and then. Uh, his 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 open openness and of other people's views is huge and 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 this alone you know is vol speaks volumes of of the type of manager manager he is and and so it still brings about a continuity and then a, and then advancement of 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 of, of the team okay. now uh, winning that game will be crucial for him that will be first game of, uh, to give us a glimpse of what we'll bring to the national team against Angola. What, what should Ghanaians expect in that game? The expectation is just what you are expecting. Whatever you expect is what uh, we expect to do. I think that uh, uh, we expect to, to have a consistent team and we, we, we want to have that consistency in, 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 in team building. And once we have the consistency of team building, exactly so, then we know that uh, the possibility of beginning to to create success is is on the is is is, is just what we are expecting. So the consistency in terms of uh, creating success with strong team building, uh, and uh, good effort, good energy, good performance, and then uh, and then the others comes. Okay. Uh, well, people have begun to raise their expectations. I listened to a former Blasters player in our champion, uh, tipping to sit in to break that drought. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure this is the right relevance. You are thinking about, you know, putting a house together, and then you are thinking about already the, the house is already complete. You know, I think that we need to. We need to. We need to get on board in the process of what we are doing. And I have said it time again that, in as much as coaches are very responsible, and you know, in our own thoughts also, we are also very responsible in terms of. You know our huge expectations in terms of our age, huge responsibilities in various departments. It could be media, it could be medical, it could be coaching, it could be administration. Everybody has a responsibility to play in terms of success, 
And so uh, sometimes we look at the, just the end product. Uh, the coaches are on the pitch, the, the players are on the pitch. But I think that it's, it's a holistic you know, mindset of alignment that we need to bring on board. And I think that it is very, very early days yet to be thinking about, you know, uh, when the house is complete, how we are going to sleep in it. I think that it's important to be looking at the immediate aspects that is geared towards, you know, the long term, uh, you know. Okay. You got to work with um, one, one of these, I mean, finally, I mean, today he was on the score sheet again. Um, Ghanaians are looking to have a team built around Kudus and Thomas Partey. Do you agree to that? I'm a coach. I don't know what you want me to say. We are building a team, and you are asking me if we are building the team around one player or two players. The two players cannot play. You need a team. We are building a team. Maybe the two players might not even be around because of due to other very difficult circumstances of injury, of, of, of accumulation card. Will we go on to a game and then say we are not going to play? So let's, let's make the team look very important in terms of whoever has the opportunity to serve, to serve the country. I believe that these players that you have mentioned are all very important, you know, you know, members of the squad, and 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 everyone is equally very important in that in that circumstance. We are thinking about building a holistic team, a team that can stand, you know, with time, and a team that that can gel, and then others can also have the opportunity to to be able to get in. I think that this is where we are. Our focus is more that building a team. Building a team means that you need categories of of of, of uh, you need a you need leaders, you need workers, you need uh, creative players, you need uh, you know mental players, you need tactical players, you need you need you know players who are who are very psychologically imbalanced. So you need different categories of players in the same environment. So would you say you are you are building the team around this person? So if the person is sick, what is going to happen? I think that you are building a team, and then this is a big message. Building a team means that you need all collections of uh, team members to play their parts. Everybody has a responsibility. I have a responsibility. You have a responsibility. Our fans have a responsibility to play towards building a very strong team into the future. Everybody is very responsible. You are responsible to this. So you don't even need the FA to, to, to say something. You know, clubs are also responsible. I believe that clubs can also help up, you know, the enthusiasm of their fans. And it's a global, it's a global effect that, that the European leagues are, are really, you know, eating into, into our, 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 our uh, local leagues. It's across Africa. And I believe that uh, we need to pay attention. And that is why I'm, I'm paying my attention. That's why I'm here. And I believe if everybody pays that attention and then try to be around when the need arises. Definitely our stadiums will begin to, to be full again. I, I believe that the players and then the teams are doing what is what it matters to be able to get fans back onto the pitch. But I think that we need to begin to 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 add up you know a lot of youth youth teams you know across and I believe that when we begin to to build youth teams across this uh, our premier teams these aspects will really be, be, be taken care of and this, uh, this precedence will be changed.